My dear Wilhelm, you must save your strength. It's too late, my darling Green. My time is short. You, you must bring Prince Rudolf and Prince Michael to my bedside. I must put the affairs of our country in order. Ah, my sons, you have come. Father. Hush, my son. Let me speak. I am soon to die. It is my royal duty as King of Rotania to appoint my heir, the new king of our beloved country. Ah. Rudolf. Michael. It is so difficult when a king has twin sons, born moments apart, and then must choose between them. Michael, you were born first, but you have a wildness in you that is not befitting to a king. So, Rudolf, my more gentle son, I choose you. Father, I... Michael, I always yeah. thought that you... <laughs> Michael, I command of you that you serve your brother loyally. But should it be that Rudolf dies before you, then you will assume the right to be king. Do I... Do I have your word, Michael? You have my word, I promise. No more loyal servant will they be than myself to my brother, King Rudolf of Ruritania. And so it was that the proud nation of Ruritania came to mourn the passing of their beloved king, King Wilhelm VI, who had ruled the land for nearly 40 years. Then, according to tradition, the palace issued a proclamation to the people. It is the wish of myself, King Wilhelm VI, that my son, Prince Rudolf, shall become king of Ruritania. Long live the king! I thank goodness for that. It would have been a sorry day for the country if Black Prince Michael had become king. Long live good King Rudolf! But we don't know anything about him. It's just as well. We know too much about Prince Michael. <laughs> How dare my father do such a thing? Rudolf of all people! Ha! King Rudolf! Doesn't even sound right. Oh, no. <laughs> My darling, please try and calm yourself. You must respect the wishes of your poor departed father. My poor departed father was an idiot! Michael, what are you saying? I'm saying that I should be king. I, I! Not my nincompoop lily milk milksop brother! He's not fit to rule a page, let alone a kingdom! Yeah, yeah, that's right! right. My, my Michael's for king! Yeah. 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 yeah! And so I shall be king of Ruritania! <laughs> father said that I should become king only if Prince Rudolf should die before me. What do you think that means? Well, I suppose he meant... Well... Uh, 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 
I'll tell you all what it means. It means that Prince Rudolf must die. Michael, but surely you can't. C can't? <laughs> what do you mean, can't? <laughs> can, my dear, can. <laughs> Michael, it is horrible. I love you very much. But I'll have no part in the murder of Prince Rudolf. Silence, woman! You are offending the future king of Ruritania. How dare you! I've been a fool to love you, Michael. I wish never to see you again. Your wish is granted. Get out of my sight. Very well, Michael. Goodbye. Schmidt! Heinrich! Follow her, and don't let her out of your sight. Hmm. So, my dear, Putsi, another month and I'll be king of Ruritania. I can't quite believe it. Oh, Rudy, I'm so proud of you. I must be the luckiest woman in all of Europe. No, it all the world. I do love you, my darling Flavia. Soon we will be married and... Oh, bother. Come in. Antoinette. Antoinette. I'm so sorry to intrude, Your Majesty. Oh, come now, Antoinette. I'm not anybody's Majesty yet, and even when I am, you must keep calling me Rudolph. Now, what brings you here so late? It's... I... Prince Michael. Rudolf, would you mind if we spoke alone? This is a very private matter. I'm sorry, Flavia. Oh, not at all, Antoinette. I'll be in the library, darling. Now, my dear, what on earth is this all about? I don't believe it. Michael plans to kill me? No, no, quite preposterous. You must believe, Rudolf, please. I heard him say it from his own mouth. I came as quickly as I could. You're in great danger. Hmm. I suspected he took the news rather badly. But to murder his own brother? No, surely not. Prince Rudolf, I find myself in a dreadful dilemma. On one hand, I have had certain feelings for your brother, Michael. But on the other, you have my absolute loyalty as a future king of Ruritania. Very well, Antoinette. What we must do is ensure that Prince Michael doesn't kill me, if he really means to. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I have a plan. Yes, I do. But I'll need your help. Can't <laughs> 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 uh, old boy. What a get up. Couldn't get you a banana, eh? What? No, thanks, old man. But I must say, I've never seen you looking so well. I say, hang on a minute. That's not very nice, Rudolph. Oh, look out, Charlie. Here comes Lady F. I wonder who she's with. Ah, Mr. Rassendale. Oh, I presume that is you, is it? At your service, madam. May I present the Princess Antoinette of Ruritania. How do you do? Ah, uh, this is my friend, Mr. Absworth. Ah, Mr. Absworth. Perhaps if you'd be kind enough to escort me to the dance floor, I'll leave you two to get to know each other. Dance? Thank you. No. But perhaps you'd lead me to the balcony. I'm feeling a little faint. Why, of course. Here, take my arm. Thank you. 
thank you, Mr. Rosendale. I've been traveling all of Europe for nearly three weeks. I am so tired. My word, you're so beautiful, if I may say. Thank you, Mr. Monkey? Oh, I'm so sorry. Rudolf Rassendale. Oh, my God! Prince Rudolf! <gasps> Mein Gott in Himmel! It can't be! Ja, ja, it is! Prince Rudolf mit a mustache! I can't believe it! Hang on a minute. It's not that bad, is it? Oh, my dear Mr. Razendil, it's not at all bad. You see, it's identical to that of Prince Rudolf of Ruritania. Good Lord! Did you say Rudolf? That's my name too. What a coincidence, eh? Oh, Mr. Razendil, you have no idea how pleased I am to meet you. I can't explain, but I must ask you to go at once to Ruritania. Please trust me, sir. It is a matter of life and death. A matter of life and death, did you say? Well, I'm sure the Foreign Office wouldn't mind if I took a week or two off. So, Schmidt, Prince Rudolf has an identical twin. Nein? Ja. What shall we do? What we do, Schmidt, is very simple. We exterminate him. Queer business, hey, what? Rushing off to Britannia, matter of life and death, no details. I mean, what's it all about, old boy? Just if I know, Absworth. And by the way, the princess gave me this. What do you think of that? Good Lord, Rudolph. It's you without a moustache. It happens to be Prince Rudolph of Ruritania. He'll be crowned king in two days. How extraordinary. I say, old boy, are you sure you're not in some kind of danger of being mixed up in all this, eh, what? No, Charlie. I shouldn't think so. Dad, so true. What was that all about? Princess Antoinette. Gentlemen, may I join you? Why, of course. Delighted. Honoured. Mr. Razendale. I'm afraid I owe you an apology. Apology? What on earth for? You see, I have put your life in great danger. I'm sorry. But my dear, sure enough. I'm afraid so, Mr. Razendale. You see, someone has already tried to kill you. Gadzooks! I say... Why haven't we heard from Schmidt and Heinrich? The last I heard, they were in London, and then nothing. Uh, maybe they got lost, boss? Lost? Don't be a bigger numbskull than you already are, Gottfried. How can anyone get lost in London? Oh. Hey, boss, when are we going to kill the prince? Yeah, kill! Ah, yes, the prince. The prince, how are we going to do away with my charming little ninny of a brother? Mm, yeah. Well, gentlemen, a toast to your good health. Often's up, eh, what? Yes, chin chin. Look, gentlemen, the lights of Zender. We're almost there. Well, good luck. And you too, sir. Cheers! Good Lord! 
Bit of a stiff drink, what? I suppose you had nothing to do with that, Princess Antoinette. Well, maybe just a little teensy bit. Now, gentlemen, you must leave the train at Sendor and make your way to the King Wilhelm Tavern. Prince Rudolf's men will make contact with you there. And you? I will join you on to Strelsa. God willing, we will meet again after the coronation. Be careful, my friends. The boss won't like this. I'll get it, Charlie. Thank you. Meet me in the reading room at 9.30. Signed, Fritz von Tarnheim. Evans. It's after 9.30 already. Come on, Charlie, we're late. Dead? What do you mean they're dead? How can they be dead? How dare they? Idiots! But I got some other news, boss. Well? And make sure it's better than your last lot of news. Someone has seen Princess Antoinette get off the train at Strelsau Station. Oh, did they? Well, Siegfried, she's back, yeah? <laughs> that is good news indeed. Now go and find Gottfried. We are going to pay a visit to old Eldrin, the winemaker. Well, Captain von Tallenheim, what's all this about, eh? I'm sorry, gentlemen. I can't tell you any more than I know. I was sent here by Prince Rudolf to ask you to take a walk in the Black Forest near the Zender Lodge at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Take a walk in the forest? Odd sods, that's a dashed queer request. Perhaps it is. I do not know. You see, the Prince is working to a plan only he alone knows. Perhaps we'll all learn more tomorrow. Very well, Captain. But there's one thing you might clear up for me. I'd be only too happy if I know the answer. It's most odd. Here I am, the spitting image of Prince Rudolf, and no one recognizes me. Why would that be? You see, Prince Rudolf spent most of his time abroad, going to school and university. He came home only because King Willem was dying. Apart from those in the royal court, most people have no idea what he looks like. Hmm. I think I'm beginning to make a little sense of this whole thing, but I'm not sure that I like it. Well, old boy, we could always pack up and shoot back off to London. Gentlemen, I'm sorry, but that will not be possible. I have my instructions to keep you here at Zender. You are not free to leave. <laughs> Like me, Don. To deserve a visit from you, Prince Michael. Not a great deal, Elgrin, you old fool. But you make a certain kind of wine. <laughs> they make many certain kinds of wine. What did you have in mind? I want the most powerful wine you've got. A wine. Strong enough to send a man to sleep for two days. Three days. Oh, that's easy. Thank <laughs> you. 
You guarantee it? 100%. But you must be very careful with it. Too much can easily kill the man. Funny you should say that, Elgrin. I'll take it. Siegfried! Gottfried! Take the cast back to the castle! And you, Elgrin, will forget this little visit ever took place. Oh, don't worry. Old Elgrin never remembers anything, especially in the mornings. <laughs> Dear Prince Rudolf, my dear brother, come to the castle for a brotherly chat. Hmm? <laughs> but now, a little toast. For you, father. Long live the king of Ruritania. Me. <laughs> Enter. Here's the Royal Highness, Prince Michael. Michael. Ah, Rudy, my dear brother. How good to see you. Princess Flavia, I've come to apologize to you, Rudolph. Apologize, Michael. Whatever for? Well, after father's funeral, I must admit to feeling resentful about the whole business. You becoming king, even though you were younger than I, you having spent much of your life outside Ruritania, <laughs> all of that. Yes, I can understand. You know I understand. Well, Rudy, I just want you to know that I've got used to the idea of you being king. You have my full support. Michael, I, I don't know what to say. Say nothing, my dear brother, except that you'll come to Zender Castle tomorrow night and uh, have a pre-coronation drink with me? Hmm? What do you say? Why, Michael, I'd love to. Yes, of course. Say, old boy, this is a sticky wicket, isn't it? I'm afraid you're right, Charlie. We may have bitten off a little more than we can chew, eh? Too right. I say, old thing, why don't we make a run for it? I wouldn't do that if I were you, gentlemen. I must repeat that for the time being, you're not free to leave Ruritania. Fritz. Perhaps we owe the gentleman an explanation. Allow me to present myself. I am Prince Rudolf of Ruritania. Good Lord! By Jove, Charlie, it's quite uncanny. Well, Mr. Razendel, I'm most impressed. Without the moustache, you're my exact double, or I'm yours. <laughs> I say, old fruit, uh, uh, I mean your majesty, would you mind telling us just what we're doing here? All in good time, Mr. Absworth. Now, gentlemen, if you'd be kind enough to walk with me to my hunting lodge. Come, Fritz. So you see, Mr. Rasendel, I've brought you here to Ruritania purely as a kind of insurance. Antoinette has succeeded beyond my wildest hopes. So you are taking her warning seriously? Well, let's say forewarned is forearmed, shall we? And if something does happen? Then you, Mr. Rasendel, will take my place on the throne in Strelsau tomorrow. You see, I rather suspect my father's dying wish was not so much that I be king, but rather that my unfortunate brother Michael never be king. I say, what a jolly old hoot, Rudy, you being king. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry, uh, Your Majesty, I didn't quite mean it uh, like that. Uh... Quite all right, Mr. Absworth. And now, gentlemen, I must ask you to remain here at the lodge until after the coronation. If nothing goes wrong, you may leave for England tomorrow night. And 
If something does go wrong, I'm sure you'll cross that bridge when and if you come to it, Mr. Azendil. Your Majesty, have you told Princess Flavia about Mr. Azendil? No, Fritz. I'll tell her tomorrow in Strelsau. I've sent her on ahead. Zenda, my darling. Did you go to London to visit the Queen? Michael, I... Michael! Your Majesty to you, woman! Your Majesty, I had to get away. After we fought, I was so upset. I thought you didn't love me anymore. I don't believe you. Bring her inside! <laughs> Now you are in Zenda to visit the king. So, Rudolf, this time tomorrow you will be king. Are you nervous? No, actually, not at all. I must say, Michael, you're being awfully decent about this. Oh, it's nothing. Perhaps we should have the drink I promised you. Hmm? I have a superb bread for you to try. Thank you, Michael. It's a French Bordeaux, 1892. I'm afraid red wine sends me to sleep these days. I'll stick to the white. <laughs> Well, Rudolf, to you, for as long as you may live. Oh, no, Michael, for as long as we both may live. Michael! Yes, Rudolf? What a beautiful wine. May I have another? Why, uh, of course, Rudolf. Why, it seems to get better by the glass. Ah, does it? Absolutely. You really should have some, you know. Uh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> Are you sure it's so nice? Michael, it's brilliant. <sighs> well, I must dash. I have to pack for Strelzau in the morning. Are you sure you wouldn't like just one more? No, thank you. I need a clear head for the coronation tomorrow. But we'll do this again soon, I promise. You know, this evening really meant a lot to me. Yeah, it uh, meant a lot to me too, Rudolf. Good night, Michael. Um. Well, gentlemen, I think the danger's over. If Michael meant me any harm, it would have happened back there at the castle, don't you think? Hmm, maybe. 
I'll put a guard on tonight, just in case. Mr. Rosendahl, Mr. Absworth, I'll, uh, I'll bid you good night. Strange. All of a sudden, I feel terribly tired. Are you all right? Oh, yes, I'm quite just uh, as tired as well. Uh, Actually, I am too. Must be fear. Well, good night, everyone. Is this Michael? Is there something I did? He didn't die, you fool! He didn't even go to sleep! Who didn't die or go to sleep? No one did! Oh, I am completely confused. Why are you coming here in the middle of the night telling me these things? The wine, you old fool! The wine you gave me didn't work! Wine? Oh, that wine! I almost forgot. Now, why was that, I wonder? Uh, uh, oh, yes! That was because you told me to forget. I don't care! It didn't work! How long ago did this no one drink the wine? About 20 minutes ago. Why? Ah, well, that's all right, then. He's got a delayed reaction, you see. Takes about 20 minutes to work. I forgot to tell you. Mr. Rassendiff, come quickly. Something is terribly wrong. I say, he's not. You know, is he? No, he's not dead. I think he's been drunk. He's in a very deep coma. Dear God! This is disastrous. The coronation is only four hours away. We must wake him. I'm afraid there's little chance of that. But the coronation! The coronation, my dear boy, will take place exactly on time. But Prince Rudolf... Prince Rudolf will be crowned King of Ruritania exactly as planned. Now, we don't have a moment to lose. Between now and the coronation, you must tell me all about myself. Charlie, old man, I want you to stay here and guard the prince. Please, Mr. Absworth, you will guard him with your life. Now, Captain von Tallenheim, come. We must leave for Strelsau. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, all citizens, your new king, King Rodolf of Ruritania. How can that be? How can that be? Answer me, you fool! He's meant to be dead! Why isn't he dead, you idiot? Maybe you're asking the wrong people, boss. Maybe Princess Antoinette knows something about this. Princess Antoinette? You might just be right for a change, Siegfried. This is your last chance, Princess. Either you talk or die. Now, tell me everything you know. Oh, Michael. It's too late for you now. The coronation has taken place. You see, Prince Rudolf has a double. A man who looks exactly like you. A double? A double? Don't come! Why didn't I think of that? You two, go to the hunting lodge immediately. If I'm not wrong, you will find Prince Rudolf there. He will either be very asleep or very dead. You must bring his body here to the castle immediately. Too late, eh? Maybe for you it is too late, but I... 
I still intend to become king. By hook or by crook. Are you sure there's no reply? I have very bad news, sir. It seems that Princess Antoinette has been kidnapped. She left her home yesterday and hasn't been seen since. Heavens. Prince Michael, do you think? Certain of it. But there's more. My men have been trying to telephone the hunting lodge and there's no reply. I think something nasty has happened to Mr. Absworth. Then we must go to Zender at once. I'm sorry, but he's only asleep. Ah, that's even better. <laughs> Good work, boys. So, my brother, the sleeping prince. At last, you are my prisoner. A prisoner of Zender. <laughs> yeah. As for you, my two-faced little dove, take her down. She has one last duty to perform. <laughs> Are you all right? Uh, I think so. Just a bump in the old cake up. Oh, no! The king! He's gone! I say, this is rather ticklish, what? That Michael fellow's got them both in the castle. Antoinette and the king. We must do something. I'm afraid Prince Michael is capable of anything, even the murder. <laughs> oh! I say. Poor old Charlie. Look, Mr. Rassendil, it's a message. Hmm. It's from Princess Antoinette. Oh, thank God she's alive. Meet me at midnight at the drawbridge of Zender Castle. Signed, Antoinette. Hmm. Oh, I say, old bean, I keep getting conked on the old bozo. Would someone mind telling me what's going on? Ah, Charlie, there you are. I'm afraid we're all rather in the dark at the moment, but it seems I have an appointment at midnight. I'm certain it's a trap. You may well be right, old chap, but I don't think there's any alternative. Princess Antoinette's life may depend on it. Princess Antoinette. I'm so sorry, Mr. President. It's a trap. I say, nice shot, old fruit. Jump, madam, quickly. Majesty is in terrible danger. Prince Michael is going to murder him. Boss! Hey, boss! We got trouble! Huh? Trouble? Sorry, boss. And Princess Antoinette? What? You didn't let her go? Imbeciles! I'm surrounded by imbeciles! 
Now, you say the king is prisoner under the east wing. There? Yes. There is a small window just above the moat. See it? Hmm. Jolly good. So that means we should attack the west wing there. Hmm. Yes, that should do it. Please hurry, gentlemen. I'm afraid the king may only have moments to live. Now, Charlie, do you have our army in position? All present and correct, old Bean. And the heavy artillery, Princess Antoinette. All in position, Mr. Vassily. Hand me the megaphone, Fritz. Is everyone ready? Now, wait till I give the word to attack. Surrounded? Uh, how can we be surrounded? How many were there? I don't know, boss. It was dark out there. Release the king and lay down your arms. Hmm. You will keep. Quick! To the west tower! All right, Charlie. Bring in the troops. That sounds like the army. <laughs> That's impossible. You have five seconds before our forces open fire. I don't like the sounds of this. Two. Three. Four. Five. Now, Princess, fire the cannons. To the east wing, quickly. You two, keep up the barrage. We'll be back. It's... it's a trick! To the east wing, quick! Fritz. Your Majesty. Stop the swine! Now, good boss. 
Boss, you're stuck. Get me out. Fools, idiots, imbeciles. Dolls, cratters, idiots. I'll see you in London soon, I trust. Yes, Mr. Razendil. Within a fortnight. And uh, your brother, Prince Michael. Oh, I'll let him cool his heels in Zender Castle for a while. I think he's probably learned a valuable lesson from this. Goodbye, dear friends. We'll never forget you. Goodbye. Goodbye to you all. And good luck, King Rudolph. <laughs> Jolly best of British. Choose and pick everyone. 